Just yeah. lay. Get just get comfortable, yeah. man. Get, get comfortable. Get comfy. Take your shoes off. Look at that. That's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Who is that? Yeah. Yeah. They've done something to my eyes, which is really weird in that photo. Yeah, yeah they did something to all Yeah, yeah. yeah they made my eyes like lasers. <laughs> No, they honestly have. There's no shadow inside them at all. Oh yeah, my camera's just It's because you're clear, red. pure and clear. But they are pretty like. I know. Amazing. They're in blue, life. but they're not yeah. that. They're not like. They're not that. Blue. That looks like they give off light. They look like this. Yeah. 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 I mean, genuinely emitting radiation. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, just begin. I mean, usually when I do interviews for for TV series or films, it's before it's come out. So it's always about what's to come. There's this kind of sense of um, uh, the unknown of no one really knows how it's going to be received. Sex Education has been on Netflix already a week. People adore it. So I've actually got in a position now I can speak to you about the reaction, which is quite rare. So you must be absolutely thrilled with how much this this everyone's talking about this show and everyone's really taken to the to the, the, these characters in this world yeah no i'm like honestly over the moon mm. yeah. i can be happy it's it is really strange spending months and months working on something with all these people and you're all trying to work mm. towards this one end goal this end mm. thing um and you go there and you give it all your all and then you don't you sort of don't hear anything for months mm. and you're like I, d I don't know, I like, don't know I you don't know what's going on, you don't know <laughs> yeah. what it's going to look like, you don't know yeah. what it's going to sound like. And then when you see it and to have everyone enjoy it and really connect with it. And uh, yeah, it's fantastic. It's mm. fantastic. Because also, I mean, obviously, for a lot, a lot of people, when it sort of starts, it's very sort of comedic and it sort of grows into the series. It gets quite poignant, quite profound in parts. Uh, did you get a sense when you were reading the scripts, were you quite surprised at some of the, the, the directions that it went in? And, and also, particularly for you, Shuti, I mean, in terms of your, your character, there's some really kind of big dramatic sequences sort of later on in the series for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes through his ups and downs, doesn't he? Eric does. <laughs> he goes through his ups and downs. He has, yeah, he has, uh, that was. One of the things that really attracted me to the role is his arc is so clear and so um, important as well. And it's just, um, it's very non-stereotypical. Like, do you know what I mean? We've seen the kind of classic coming out story and this is like what happens after. And so I think I thought that that was a really interesting angle um, to take. But yeah, I definitely, on reading it, um, of course I was surprised a lot but on watching it there was a lot of scenes that I expected to laugh at yeah. and it was actually really sad for example when Otis has his panic attack after yeah. Lily attacks him with oh the condoms <laughs> yeah. it's it so like sad. I thought it was going to be funny but it's heartbreaking <laughs> because yeah. he flashes back to yeah. everything like in his childhood and his parents arguing and the, 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 the breakup of his parents marriage and it's just so like you really feel for him and your heart really goes out to him and like i didn't expect to like Maeve on yeah. reading her yeah but I've, from the first episode i was like nah i want this girl to be my life counselor yeah. <laughs> um and it does again yeah. it manages to balance the humor and the yeah. and the drama and, mm. the, and the emotions very well yeah. Yeah. You mentioned that the, the, the panic attack scene. I mean, but there's a lot of moment scenes in this that are quite um, intimate. Let's say, you know, of course, was, was there one in particular for each of you that you found the most awkward to shoot at the time you shot it? Uh, no, Not I, didn't, really. I didn't find any of them <laughs> awkward. Uh, yeah. No, I mean we've said it a lot, but we we, we were very well looked after. Uh, even before shooting, mm. and we were very comfortable, and we kind of all clicked and bonded. Um, sort of very early on in the process so when it actually got down to those scenes for me it was from, with me and Kida um it was it was fine and it was really comfortable and chilled and and it was like a like a dance mm. and like and we were choreographing it like we were counting in our head we like we kiss for three seconds and then we go we do this and we do this. so it was all it's all very and you, you rehearse it so much you rehearse the movements that it becomes kind of natural I mean that's how we that, how we did it anyway mm. um so it just it's just, just quite fun really um and yeah, the fear kind of evaporated, yeah. so to speak. What about you? Um, no awkward scenes. No, after a while, like like we've said before, like mm -hmm. after a while, the scenes just became like you'd come into work in the morning. And, yeah, yeah, gonna suck off a banana today. <laughs> like, what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing? Yeah, come oh, on. yeah, I'm, I'm wanking make, today. Wanking yeah, today. Yeah, you gonna yeah, have a wank yeah. today? Yeah, cool. I got like, I got two actually. One in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 you've yeah, got yeah, the yeah. bathroom one in there. I'm having sex yeah. in the back of a car today. You having? Yeah. yeah, cool. Oh no, we'll see you at lunch then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. see you at yeah. lunch. Yeah. It was. Are we gonna have a? Lunch? Yeah, it was just so. Eating bananas. Eating bananas. I will never look at a banana the same way again. Just FYI. 
I, I. But it was, yeah, it just became normal. I, I, and we all had... The, as it should be. As it should be. That's and the crew were really supportive of us as well. Yeah. Yeah. We loved them as well. And so everyone just had I mean, each other's back. Oftentimes it was probably more awkward for them than it was for us. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's very... Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Also, I mean, in, in many ways, because I think as a, a nation, we're quite prudish sometimes in the UK. And, and I think, because uh, I've got sort of European family and stuff, and they, people in Europe, and particularly places like Scandinavia, they just talk about sex so much Do more they? open mm. the dialogue. Yeah. And, and this film, I'm, I'm sorry, this, this series is almost kind of saying that it isn't a taboo, is it? It is something that we should just speak about and be quite open about it. And I think that, that's one of the things I sort of took out of this. Do, do you agree with that notion? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, Sweden has like, what, like one of the lowest teenage pregnancy rates in Europe or something that oh, don't <laughs> quote me on that don't quote me on that but I I think there's some truth they there got, yeah they have, they've, there's, they've tapped into something which yeah. we're all a bit behind yeah whether that's the conversation or just a sort of a, a maturity mm. in the younger populace yeah, yeah. Is, take the take yeah. the 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 mystique out of it yeah and just have a frank discussion and, and let those conversations open and then you can battle whatever hidden demons you have do you know what i mean like yeah just like yeah take the mystique out of it and have a conversation yeah yeah, yeah. And before i can gather just literally from the last sort of five minutes speaking to you guys but also you get a real sense of it in the show just how well all of you seem to get on and i've i've interviewed a lot of the the skins alumni <clears throat> since and they all sort of still keep in touch and that's yeah. been what 10 15 years yeah. and so I, just, I mean how much does that help and i mean obviously being on a set where everyone's quite sort of the same age sort of quite like-minded it must have made for a really fun experience for all of you to share <laughs> <laughs> get, I'm like yeah it's, yeah. yeah it's like it's so it's so lovely for us and for people to to kind of see us be friends in real life because yeah. it's like mm -hmm. it just it just means that anything you see on camera or any like fun interaction or improvisation is is real it's and real. it's like yeah. us having fun which I think is nice for people to see because there's loads of darkness and toil and trouble going on in the world so it's nice to have a show that's colourful and, and like you say with a young cast and um, it's just mm. like a, it's just like a, it's just really fun and lovely. Mm. Yeah. Because yeah, even though it does delve into quite real, quite sort of serious themes in many ways, it, there's something quite otherworldly about it. I mean, it's got that kind of 80s yeah. feel, it's got a kind of American high school feel to it. Do you think that is quite, you're sort of saying, obviously, that kind of sense of the, the world can be quite rubbish at times. Yeah. Do you think this film, because obviously, even though it's dealing with real themes, at the same time, it feels like it's set in a kind of fake world in some ways. Yeah. I mean, do you think that's also part, partly why everyone sort of responded to it in the way they have? I think yeah. so. I think it's, it's got it's got a sort of. I think the world has a charm and a character which we don't really get to see, especially in British comedies, um, which are always so depressing. Um, <laughs> it's nice to have one that shows the world positively and mm. sort of inspires a lot of hope and a lot of colour. Mm. Yeah. And. And, um, and 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 encourages people to be themselves and 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 to wear what they like and be who they want. Yeah. Be um, friends with whoever they want mm. to be friends with and. Mm. Yeah. Follow their own path. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, did they let you keep any of your outfits? Like, did you get to steal anything from set? Have you got any memorabilia? Oh, from this? Particularly? I, <laughs> I know. I forgot, man. I forgot to do it, but I'm gonna try get. I think I got a few pairs of socks. Yeah, most <laughs> yeah, of those weren't intentional, same. though. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. just stole a few pairs of black socks. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've got a plethora of like hoodies that costume would give me yeah. to not mess up my. <laughs> Costume like at yeah. lunch and stuff like a whole sorry costume department, <laughs> but I've got all your <laughs> all your clothes. So now they need to do a second series just so you can give it all back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They yeah. need to. That's the excuse. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, I was wondering, to, I mean, because um, in in this you mentioned Super Smash Brothers a few times, uh -huh. and I was just wondering because it sounds I've heard, read you're quite good at it in in real life. I was wondering yes. what outside of acting, what would you say is all of your biggest hidden talents, or well, not even hidden, just talents? Ah, oh. that's a good question. Well, I do. Oh. I, I mean, you're not wrong. I think I do play a lot of Smash you're not Bros. Wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I like. I like to. Th I like to think. I'm, I like to think. I'm. I'm quite. I'm good. He's good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Compare it. Yeah. I'm. I'm. All, I'm all right. Um, what else? I, I, I beatbox a little bit. I yeah. He's very good at music as well. Yeah. Yeah. You beatbox a little bit. If I ask like that, will you do it? Yeah. Well. <laughs> well. I, 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 well, wow. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he wasn't to he wasn't to harmonize with him. No, you'll get that in season two. Yeah. Season two. <laughs> season two. Tune in. Tune in. Um, hidden talents. Uh, well, outside of I don't know. I used to dance a bit, and so every third off in, I'll bust out a couple of moves. Um, I like to sing in the shower. Uh, 
I can also roll my eyelids back. Don't ask him to no, do I'm that. I'm not going to ask you to do that. Oh, it's yeah. really cool. It's, it's, yeah, it's really cool. I really like doing it, but I'm I won't quite, do it. I'm getting it. used to it now. Oh. I quite like it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I really doesn't. I mean, it's, if you really want to do it. You know, it's good. No, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't want anyone to be sick. But that, yeah, that's my... Like, What's your go-to, go-to song in the shower? Oh, anything. Anything Nicki Minaj. Yeah. 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 And I was wondering just Because obviously this... It made me quite nostalgic for, for school. I'd sort of miss... Being, I mean, I'm not sure if it's the sort of responsibilities that come with being an adult and paying bills and stuff. But I was just wondering if you guys miss school, and if and if looking back, if you what, what do you say is the one thing you'd miss most about your time at school? Um, a lack of responsibility, and yeah, not not, re- not really the yeah, uh, being able to kind of not I mean, you can get away with stuff, but being able to make mistakes mm. and 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 being able to learn from the oh, I don't know what I'm going on about here. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, get, about I, get, I get I get I get lack of responsibility is a good but yeah. not paying bills. Yeah. yeah. That's all I miss from being a teenager. You're gonna spend the whole day with your friends. Kind of Yeah. yeah. Although school was like, yeah, sort of doing homework and stuff. In the scale of Quite things. Nice. Yeah. It's far worse places you could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do, yeah. Very and lucky and I do to miss get it. Education yeah. Yeah. yeah, I I went to a very small school, um, in France, and it was like it was like a hundred people in my school. So there were four people in my class. So I quite miss having that kind of like one to one with teachers and 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 I really liked studying. So I quite mm. like I quite liked having structure in my life and just having that like learning and, mm. and memorizing and all of that. I was quite studious mm. but yeah it was fun just be just in, in a place with all your mates all, all day yeah. basically mm. it's it's great. Like, well it's a bit like you guys bit making like, this literally bit like this yeah. like us yeah, in yeah. The summer camp. so my, my final question i mean it's probably a stupid question because it's obviously been such a huge hit but i mean has there been talks already of a second series i'm assuming that's something you'd all love to to you, do well, if we'd like, love, yeah. we would we'd love, love to, to. <laughs> it's, we it hardly, love it's hardly to. been out a week so <laughs> it's very <laughs> it's too early for us to no. Yeah, but yeah. We would Most, like to. Yeah, you hear we, that? Yeah. 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 Was you hear that? Subscribe, <laughs> watch it, and watch it ten times, and tell your nan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank That's you so much, guys. Thank much you. All right. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey. hey.